Hey guys, it's Community Cod, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a basic bucket server along with essentials and group manager. So, first of all, you're going to want to download those. So, you download Craft Bucket. I've got the latest dev build here, links will be in the description. Essentials and Essentials Group Manager. First of all, you're going to want to click on these ones, hold control to select both, and extract here. You can just remove those archives and delete the fixed text document that comes with it. And to shorten things up a bit, just uh, delete the end part of that craftbucket.jar. So now it's just craftbucket.jar. So there's this command you're going to run. So you're going to copy that and you're going to make a new document or paste it and save as. You're going to remove this save as type to all files. Uh, get it out of the host bit there. If you scroll down to where I've got bucket server there. I'm going to name it start underscore server and then dot bat. Now I've got it as one gig. I'm going to leave that at the moment. You can add that to 2048 and so on. So now what you're going to do is you're going to start the server. So just double click on it. Just let that load up. just preparing it all and stuff preparing all the folders and all the configs so we're just gonna hit stop and then hit enter so now we've got these essentials files we're just gonna hold shift and select all control X or cut them into the plugins directory we're gonna start that server up again and let it load and now it's loaded essentials so stop again and now we're going to go into that plugins directory go to essentials click right click on config and I'm going to open it make sure you've got notepad plus plus the link will be in the description as well for that so this is just the main the main config file for essentials this is all your basic stuff so your ops color name that's at four so that's I believe that's red I'm gonna change that to nothing I'm gonna leave it no six so it's gonna be gold uh, nickname prefix that's all good teleport cooldown so if there's a teleport cooldown they can use it in or how long the gap is before they can use it again uh, teleport delay will be five seconds that's pretty good uh, spawn limit 10, worn on smite, true, yep, 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 yep. And these are all default commands, so this will be in essentials dot, and then you put this after it. Um, I will scroll down. Now, these are the kits, these are the default kits that you can use. Enabled signs, so if we want to put color on our signs, we're going to remove that hashtag. That buy and sell, we can remove the kit, we can remove that and weather time and game mode okay and now if we scroll down we're gonna see essentials home you can choose how many homes people can set economy yeah we got the dollar sign max money minimum money I normally set to zero on my servers now here's here's another thing with the essentials chat so if you want to add color to their name, just add the, the add the number. So I am going to bring up a where is it? There we go, MC Color Guide. And now I want their name in yellow. So I'm going to go and E at the star, and then at the message I want that white. So that will be and F. So put that right after that. Now, all the rest is all the rest is good. So hit Control S or save it, and browse back into that folder. Hit back, and now we've got Group Manager. We're going to open that up, and we're going to go to Worlds, World, and go to Groups. Open that up. Now all of this is all the basic stuff. So we got groups, default, builder, moderator, admin, 
and all you all you have to do is really just change change the prefix or suffix depending on what you want so I'm going to do for default I'm gonna go guest I'm gonna name it and that color is gonna be red builder can be I'm just gonna leave the colors as they are and add some prefixes and admin if you scroll down admin and owner will be owner Ooh, where's moderator there you are prefix mod and control s and save that so now we're going to start up the server wherever you are start server we're going to launch minecraft I'm going to launch into 1.7.4 as it is compatible with this server. Uh, go to multiplayer and add server and you can name it whatever you want. Local host is what you're going to connect with. You can join that. Just let that load up and see. Welcome, guest Harvey Connor, to the server. Hello. And now that's all in yellow, which is as expected, as I did not edit the edit the name properly. So if I want to set that up so it looks very professional, I can go back into that plugins, go to Group Manager, Worlds, World, and go back to Groups and open that. And now I've got default is guest I'm gonna put a space after it and then put and F I'm gonna do that for all of these so if I add myself into a moderator or builder or whatever you name it it will be correctly formatted so hit space control F and then control S to save before you can do anything first of all you're gonna to have to go back into the console and type in op and then your Minecraft username. Whoops. There we go. Now I'm opt. Now you can type in dash man load. So dash man load. Hit to enter. And then that will reload group manager. Essentials is dash essentials reload. And now both those plugins are reloaded. So you can type in chart. And now the format's fixed up. So ops color was gold as as I set that before in essentials and now if I do dash menu add and then my name and then type in owner now I'm in the owner group so hello my name is Harvey there we go so th this little this little arrow thing that's like that because we haven't set the config in essentials properly for the chat. I'm going to search for chat just so I don't have to scroll down. Here we go. See now we've got that there. And I will put the and E. Actually I'll just remove that and save that like that. And then type in, I'll just hit up because I reloaded essentials before. And I'll type hi, and now I fixed that there. So we've set that up, and that's pretty much your basic settings. There are a few commands you might want to deny. That's just all up to you. You can actually check on the Essentials website. They've got all the permissions and commands available to you for your setting up of the server, blocking like kill commands and stuff. That's by default, but if you want to go customize everything, you can add specific kits, warps, whatever. So at whatever rank you want. So VIP ranks or whatever. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed my little tutorial here on how to set up the bucket and essentials.